guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my August reading wrap up. August was a great reading month for me because the first week of August was the Booktubeathon, which I was able to read seven books in seven days, and half of those books I read in July and the other half I read in August. So I am quite happy with that. Plus, I did manage to read a few more books after the Booktubeathon. So this video might be a tad lengthy just because I have eight books to discuss. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first book that I finished was A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. This was our Muggle Studies book club pick for August and if you're interested in hearing more about what I thought in detail on this book, I will leave a link to our live show down below where Hannah and I discuss this book in details and we go into a whole bunch of spoilers so if you're interested in that it will be linked down below but I did enjoy this book I ended up giving it a four out of five stars I really enjoyed the story and the plot I love that this was a Sherlock Holmes retelling so basically we follow our two main characters Charlotte Holmes and Jamie Watson and Charlotte is the great 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 granddaughter of Sherlock Holmes and Jamie is the great 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 grandson of John Watson. So both of them are currently at a prep school in Connecticut. Of course, chaos erupts. One of their classmates ends up getting murdered and the two of them get together to try and figure out what happened. I enjoyed it a lot. I loved the banter between Jamie and Watson. There were a few things that I didn't like in this book and as I said if you are interested in that because they are kind of spoilery um, go ahead and watch our live show but otherwise there was only just a couple things that I had issues with I did feel like their friendship was a little bit insta friendship like not insta love but I felt like Jamie kind of became obsessed with Charlotte very quickly and so that I was kind of like, mm, that's not as believable. And also, I don't know, there was just, yeah, there's just a few things here and there that I didn't like. But overall, I did enjoy it. I loved the banter and I loved how smart Charlotte is. And I just, I loved kind of seeing her mindset figuring out, you know, the murder and all of that. So yeah, I really, really did enjoy it. Next, I read Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. This, I think I also gave a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. It definitely went in a direction I was not expecting and I absolutely loved it. I have the Owl Crate edition with the purple sprayed edges, which is, you know, amazing. I love this book. Basically, in the story, we're following our main character, Anna. And Anna has an android that are now illegal named D09. And D09 is starting to malfunction and she needs to find a way to fix him. And the only way to fix him is to find these special android pieces that are stored on a ship somewhere like in space and she needs to find these coordinates to find this ship in order to fix her android. We're also following Rob who is considered royal in this story. He is an iron blood and he ends up being a fugitive with Anna in order to find these coordinates. So the story was just not what I was expecting. I really enjoyed the romance that ended up developing in this book. Um, it was surprising and it was probably my favorite aspect of it was the romance between two specific characters, which I don't want to say because... I think it's a pleasant surprise. There was also another romance that I wasn't too keen on. I love the space element to it. I thought that was fantastic. Also, I do remember one of my biggest gripe on this book was the fact that I felt like it was way too similar to Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles. I did not like that at all. I kind of felt like it was copied a little bit, but I'm willing to overlook that because the story did eventually kind of break away from Cinder and become its own, and I really did like the parts that were unique. So 
in the end, I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. Next, I read Birthright by Nora Roberts, and I really enjoyed this book. The only thing that I had trouble with was that there were too many characters. Our main character is Callie, and she is an archaeologist, and she ends up being the lead archaeologist at a dig site where human remains were found, and she ends up having to be at this dig site with her ex-husband and then also there are a whole bunch of other characters like I don't want to get too much into it because I feel like it's a really good story to kind of go into not knowing much I feel like if I give too much away in the synopsis it'll kind of give away the plot and you'll be able to like piece it together through just the synopsis what I love about Nora Roberts books is that I feel like she puts a lot of research into her books I have no idea I don't know anything about archaeology or dig sites but I feel like I learned a lot just by reading this book I have no idea if it's accurate like how they do digs and process and document stuff like I have no idea if that's you know, what she wrote in here is accurate at all, but it, you know, if it is, then she did a lot of research and I do appreciate that. So all in all, I really did enjoy this book. I liked the story. Um, I ended up, like, I think I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars just because there were too many people. Like, after a certain amount of point of views, it just gets to be way too much. But otherwise, I did enjoy reading it and I do recommend it if you are a Nora Roberts fan but it wasn't one of my favorites. After reading Birthright, I decided to read Sea Swept, also by Nora Roberts. This is a reread for me, and I gave this a five out of five stars. I absolutely love this series. This is the first book in the Chesapeake Bay uh, saga, and in this story, we follow four adoptive brothers, and just the story of friendship and family, and it's just, it's so good. I absolutely love it, but in this story, we follow Cameron's perspective. He was the first brother to be adopted by the Quinn family, and we're following, like, his perspective. If you love Nora Roberts, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up this series. It is my favorite. My favorite book is Chesapeake Blue, and then this one is my second favorite, but it is so good. I really, really recommend picking it up because the series is just, it's fantastic. The next book is another Nora Roberts book, and that is The Reef, and this was the book that Kevin chose for me for Husband Buys My Books Challenge, and he picked a handful of books for me that he thought I would like, and The Reef was one of them. I enjoyed this more than I enjoyed Birthright. This was really enjoyable. Like I said, I loved the um, information that I learned about like marine biology and marine archaeology and stuff like that and about diving and treasure hunting. I thought that was really, really interesting. I loved the plot and there weren't as many characters in this story so I really enjoyed that. But my only thing was I felt like towards the middle the characters got to be a little annoying. I didn't enjoy the romance as much and I didn't like the format of the book. It is divided into three sections, past, present, future. Past that doesn't bother me as much. A lot of her um, books have like a past and then she gets to like the meat of the story after that. But I didn't like the future part of it. Like I thought that was really weird and it didn't even jump into the future. Like it literally went from as if it was the next day. Like it, there was no jump. It wasn't like five years later. It was 12 hours later. So I didn't like that, but otherwise I did like the premise, the plot, and so I'm going to give this a like 3.75 to a four out of five stars. Next, I read Magi Volume One by Shinobu Otaka, and this is a manga. This is also a book that Kevin picked out for me, and this... Unfortunately, I didn't really like. I gave it a three out of five stars, and I feel like that's me being really generous. I just, I didn't like the story. The first half of it, the story just jumped a lot. I couldn't follow what was going on. There were some parts where it was sexualizing women, and I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't care for that. But the last third of it was really good. That's kind of where we got into like the meat of the story, like the adventure that um, our main character Aladdin goes on with I believe it's Alibaba and Ugo and I did enjoy like the dr dungeons aspect of the manga but 
I didn't like the first half of it at all, and I don't think I'm going to be continuing on with this series, nor do I think I'm going to be watching the anime. And lastly, I read Artemis Fowl, a graphic novel adaptation by, let's see if I can pronounce this correct, um, Ion Colfer and Andrew Donkin. Um, I really enjoyed this graphic novel. I gave it like a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I've never read Artemis Fowl, so I have no idea how well the adaptation to this graphic novel is, but if it's anything like this graphic novel, if the story, you know, if this is a good adaptation, let me know down below because I might pick up Artemis Fowl. I really enjoyed the plot. I enjoyed the characters. Um, I enjoyed the, just the way the graphic novel was done. I really enjoyed the pictures. I love that we got kind of like a classified section for each character where it talks about like their name, their classification, background, career. I thought that was really cool. So yeah, this was a great graphic novel. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. I read a lot of books in August. August, and I'm quite pleased with the amount of books that I read and it was all because of the Booktubeathon which I loved participating and I cannot believe I was able to do all of the seven challenges but I did it and I'm quite happy with myself so comment down below let me know some of the books that you read in August and let me know if you've read any of the books that I have and I will see you next time in another video